Good morning friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. I thought for today's video I would share with you a little bit of a weekend vlog. It's already Sunday and we just got home from church, which you saw in the boys immediately right when we got through the door. They all ran upstairs to change. It was just torture, I guess, to wear nicer clothes to church, which they weren't even that. I mean, I still think they were pretty casual, but yeah, they wanted to go get their athleisure clothes on and be a little bit more comfortable. So they're doing that. I am hoping today, so today's plan is to stay home basically all day, just get some things done around the house, but also relax and just have some family time outside today. I think it's supposed to be, yeah, the highest 82. So it's going to be pretty nice out. 9.15 in the morning, we're already home from church. We like to go to the early service, so then we can just be home. We're already up anyway, so we might as well just go. That looks good. Are you gonna go change into that? Yep. Okay, it's favorite outfit. Mom. So anyways, my plan is I do wanna enjoy the weather outside today. Try to get a few things done around the house this morning so I can feel a little bit productive, and then we'll do some relaxing this afternoon. One of my tricks to helping with the kids sit through church is I ordered these stickers off of Amazon. I can't remember how many you get, but there's quite a few hundreds, if not thousands of stickers for like $5. And then I'll just bring like a drawing pad or just plain white paper and they will just sit there and stick stickers on their paper almost the entire service, depending if I packed enough stickers. So I'll link the ones down below that I always purchase. They are just perfect. They're kind of like a, a puffy sticker, so they're easier for them to peel off on their own. They don't need my help. And yeah, they're so cute. say pollen we have never had this issue before but yesterday when we were out here you could just see it flying in the air and I just noticed on our steps I could see all of the yellow it's like a greenish yellow pollen oh it was everywhere yesterday never experienced this much before here I'm not sure why but so it's dirty out here yet again I'll have to do another deck cleaning here probably in the next week or so but been loving spending so much time out here we actually brought the water table back out we've had this thing for oh my goodness since macy was probably one so many years but we still love it so much the boys will do hot wheels or sand toys lol bodies are in there fish you name it it goes in the water table so they've been loving playing in that and then i'll just kind of sit and watch them play and just relax so i've been loving it out here but i thought i'd do a little flower update everything's doing so well i actually didn't share this lavender plant in my video i'm not sure why but i didn't but i did buy this lavender plant to try and when i bought it they kind of looked more like this but now they're starting to bloom they're so pretty so i'm excited to see how those do but so far so good the dahlia bloomed that's looking really pretty this plant or flower is also doing so well the leaves have just really opened up this week this is what it's called canova rose i think is how you say it i think that will be really pretty so that seems to be doing well ethan's are doing good i can't remember what those are i'd have to go back and look but some sort of 
flowering rose or they looked like geraniums to me but the tag said they weren't and of course some of my favorites here so yeah everything is doing so so good I decided to bring our citronella candle in until we use it because I found it was kind of melting in the sun in the afternoons and it just wasn't I feel like going to hold up very well so when I was at Costco they had these sitting out and I just loved the shape and it was already of course potted in this really nice pot it kind of matches the other ones I have out here but yeah these succulents I'm excited to see how these do I've tended to kill them in the past by watering them so I'm trying to hold off let me know how often I should water these but I haven't done anything yet the tag said to only water when like the whole pot is pretty much dry so we'll see how they go we also need to get our lawn mowed today my hubby's going to do that I'll price it out here read a magazine this afternoon during nap time what else um, we're gonna have a, fun day. a fun day we are It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you wanna go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside Got the laundry folded, had to change into a short sleeve. It's very warm out. But the kids convinced me to set up the swimming pool. Move it in the sun. Whoa, is it in the sun? Good. So we bought this last year. I figured we better blow it up anyways to make sure that there's no holes. So it looks good. Let's get some water. Fill her up, Ethan. This could take all day. All right, we have our water in. Our strategy is to fill it up in the morning so we'll let the sun shine on it and get it warm enough to swim after nap. Let's see it. Wow. We came inside to get started on lunch. Now, you have not seen my husband yet today because he plays in the praise team at church one or two times a month. It kind of just depends on the scheduling and if we're out of town, that kind of thing. So he's still there, but I'm thinking he's going to be home at any time. So I'm gonna get started on lunch for us. I have visions of us eating a nice, relaxing meal on our deck, although probably it won't be that way, but we're gonna try. And then Matt is outside with his friends. They're setting up a lemonade stand. I told them, like, you guys just did one yesterday, but they're trying again today. So they're out there being little lemonade stand guys. But I'm gonna get started on lunch. I am teaming up today with HelloFresh, so a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I share them all the time on my channel, and I've really been excited about this month because I've tried some doozy recipes <laughs> lately. I've shared a couple of them here on my channel. Some have been good, some are, and some are like, no, we're never having that again. So I always know that HelloFresh will come through for me with some good meals. My husband made ribs yesterday, so now today I get to choose and I picked pasta. 
the meat comes packaged separately, so I still have that in the refrigerator. So I'll pull that out when I need it. Otherwise, everything else is in here pre-portioned and ready to go. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit, which we have been receiving for well over a year now. I would say one of my favorite parts is they send you these step-by-step -step instructions and all of the fresh pre-measured ingredients. You get everything you need, so it's almost impossible for me to mess up our dinner. And honestly, even earlier this month, I felt like I was buying a ton of ingredients for just one recipe and never finished them all because it's not something I would typically make and we didn't even like the meal. So there's something to say about pre-portioned and everything ready to go for these dinners. But something I've also found interesting with HelloFresh, I didn't know this until just recently, but produce actually gets to you a lot faster than if you were to buy them from a grocery store. So the ingredients are at their peak freshness and flavor. You get it from farm to fridge in just under a week. Everything is very flexible and customizable as well. For instance, if there's a meal only I, my husband and I will eat, then I would only order two portions of that versus maybe a family friendly meal I would order a lot more that would feed everybody here so very flexible it's fun every once in a while just to make something that I know the kids won't eat for my husband and I because I really get stuck into just cooking macaroni and cheese or hot dogs or things like that so it's kind of a nice treat for us as well You guys know how it goes. Whenever I pick up the camera, the lawnmower starts. You know, you'd think one o'clock would be kind of quiet, but I guess it is Sunday. So everyone's out. My husband's mowing, the neighbor's mowing. I'm sure someone over there is gonna start mowing here soon, but that's okay. But lunch was super, super good. Uh, it was not like a heavy pasta, which I think is a good thing for a lunch or even a dinner, but you get like that garlicky, buttery spaghetti, and then the balsamic chicken on the top with lots of cheese. Oh, so good. So yeah, thumbs up. I'm pretty sure we've had it before. Never disappoint. So always a winner with that one. But I do have a coupon code to share with you if you want to try HelloFresh. It's Crystal T12. You get 12 free meals across your first four boxes. So I'm going to have a link down below in the description box. So you can go and check that out. Let's see what else is going on. The twins, I just put them down for a nap. I don't know if they're going to but I thought I'm going to try because I'll probably regret it tomorrow and then I pulled these out of the pantry these are those uh, chocolate covered dark chocolate covered blueberry and acai called balls chocolate balls so good so I'm gonna I think put a few in a bowl and just go hang out on the deck with Macy I brought the kids to the library yesterday and they got a bunch of books to read so she's been just like so excited to get some of these books that she's been trying to get for a long time so yeah i think we're just gonna go hang out outside and see i guess what the afternoon brings coming in Slight change in afternoon plans. The weather sirens are going off. It's starting to sprinkle. Nothing major, but I'm kind of hoping that it washes off all of this pollen that's collected on our deck. Oh, it's been terrible. Normally I wouldn't bring in all of the cushions, can't even get through, but we want to spend some time out there later.
we're back in business. Sun's back out. It's hotter than ever <laughs> and humid. Jump in. Let's see it. Ethan, jump in. Let's see it. Can you do it, buddy? Whoa. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh, love it. Super amazing. Wow, it's hot out, but it's really nice. We've had a lot of neighbor kids here, so I haven't really recorded much, but I just took the pool down so it's drying, lots of fun. It was so dirty and gross, and my butt's wet, so oh, don't look at my butt. But it's been a really good afternoon after the rain, which I actually like a good storm. Just getting some water here. But we do have some kind of exciting stuff hopefully happening this week. Let me fill this up. Okay. You looking at my butt, Bailey? It's all wet. I need to go change. <laughs> but anyway, so kids have two and a half, four days of school. And I talked a little bit about this on Instagram, but I am like in major, it's kind of like crunch time. I'm trying to get little things done around the house, closing out different projects, finishing up, touching up trim, where we had new flooring put in, that kind of stuff. Macy and her friend just came through, but, so I'm kind of crunch time, get all the things done before school is out because my productivity will just, it's not gonna be non-existent, I feel like. It's gonna be so busy. June is crazy with activities. But anyways, exciting stuff. So it sounds like, I don't wanna commit and say for sure, but they said they're most likely going to be here on Monday or Tuesday to work on our railing. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also a little bit nervous about it. It's going to be such a big change. So hopefully with any luck, that will be the next video that you see. We'll do like a, I don't know what type of video it'll be. You'll just have to stay tuned. So that's kind of exciting happening. What else, Bailey? Bailey's doing good. She's back there waiting for a treat. She is relentless. She will, she'll stay there until you give her something. And you didn't even do anything. Usually she'll go outside and then get a treat. But anyways, she's doing pretty good. We still need to get her in. I, they said they're gonna call me when it's time for her next ultrasound and I haven't got a call yet. So probably after Memorial Day, I would guess, will be her ultrasound. But I feel like she's doing a little bit better. She's maybe moving a little bit slower, but not much, not much. Her appetite is there. Uh, I mean, honestly, I feel like she's, I don't wanna say it, but it feels like she's somewhat normal. So anyways, little mini update, but we're doing good. It's so hot out now. The kids are running through the sprinklers. I just love this part of the year when everyone's outside having fun, the squeals, the lawnmowers. It just brings me so much joy. So yeah, we're just hanging out now. It's gonna be dinner time. We just have a lot of leftovers I think we're going to eat. Call it good for the night. And yeah, I think that's kind of about it. I just came in to get some water and I'm gonna head back outside. My hubby and I are just sitting out on the deck chatting. Okay. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Good girl. Okay, let's get you a treat. Yeah. Here you go. It's one of those brushing shoes. How's your snack? Good. Which golf tournament's on? PGA Championship. Yeah, he's busy watching the. Last of that. I totally came upstairs. It's not even seven o'clock in my pajamas. And now you get to see that I didn't even make our bed this morning. That's not like me, I will say. Usually our bed is always made, but you know, Sunday morning we were just scrambling to look presentable and get out the door all the time. So <laughs> there you go. I didn't make my bed today. You weren't supposed to see that. But I had a quick question before I end today's video. I need to go start the kids fast. Don't worry if you can hear them. They're downstairs with my husband. They're totally fine. But I want to start a, I told Macy, our plan is we're going to have some dedicated reading time, most likely when the twins are napping, where we'll just go out on the deck and we'll both just read our books together. And I have in the past have been really like into Nicholas Sparks and Emily Giffen is another favorite author, but I would love to try 
more of like a crime related book. I, that's like the only shows I watch these days. And I feel like I would like to read a book as well. So if you have any book recommendations that you would say that have like a crime story in them that you think I would like, or even just authors in general that I should be on the lookout for, let me know. I know nothing about this stuff, but I think I would really like it. And it's going to be just so nice to be out on the deck and reading with her. I'm so excited. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's video. We're off to do some baths and we will most likely fall asleep super early. I'm exhausted. Relaxing did not happen as planned today, but that's just kind of how things go. But don't forget to check out the HelloFresh link down below in the description box along with that coupon code. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.